Hello, my name is Gabe Zolna. Just watched a little bit of Fox News, and uh, they had uh, one of the anchors come on, and he said that uh, one of the uh, gentlemen that uh, actually purchased the AK-47 that killed Board Agent Brian Terry was just convicted, and he got 57 months in prison. Now, I have a question. Why? Why did he get 57 months in prison? The ATF had cameras in a lot of these gun stores that were ordered to sell guns to anybody that walked in without any ID. He could turn on the camera, I'm talking about the director of the ATF, he could turn on the camera in Washington and watch the purchases of the guns right here in Arizona. The store owners were ordered to sell the weapons to anybody. So why is it that this one person got singled out because he's the one that purchased that particular gun that killed Brian Terry? What about all the other people that were killed by all the other hundreds and thousands of guns across the border? You know what really has to happen is it isn't so much a matter of the guy that bought the gun, it's the guys that authorized the stores to allow people to buy the guns that weren't authorized to buy the guns. There's a video that you might want to take a look at, and I've been mentioning this before. Google David Ogden, O-D-G-E-N, March the 24th, 2009. And what you'll hear and see is David Ockton outlining the entire program. And he starts off by saying President Obama provided $10 million of initial funding. And then he talks about Eric Holder, how Eric Holder is going to build up the ATF and have additional offices, etc., etc. And as soon as he finishes talking, although it isn't on that video, but you can Google the other video, and you see Janet Neapolitano. Yeah, she's there. She outlines the whole program as well. Now, this is March the 24th, 2009. Now, if you go ahead, when Brian Terry was killed, it wasn't until 2010, I think around Christmas, uh, December the 14th. And when um, they were questioned, they meaning Obama, Holder, and Neapolitano, they said that they never knew anything was going on until Brian Terry was murdered. Well, that's in direct contradiction with what David Ogden said. Now, David Ogden, who was he? He was the Assistant Attorney General. You know, it's interesting, we can't find David Ogden. I mean, he's nowhere to be found. Wonder. Interesting, huh? Anyway, it doesn't really matter because the tape is there, the facts are there, and I think it's totally absurd that this individual got 57 months because he was the unlucky one that bought the gun that killed Board Agent Brian Terry. What would have mattered if other people got killed? They obviously did. Mexico looked like a slaughter yard with all these guns being found at the scene. The people that authorized these programs, the people that provided the funds. I mean, I, th I read an article where I think $50 million went into this particular operation. Now, you know, that doesn't come out of pocket change. That has to be funded. Somebody had had to approve it at a very, very high level. David Ogden said it was Obama that gave $10 million for initial funding. What more do you need to know? I don't know. They learned the craft on how to push guns across the border into Mexico, and they continued pushing guns across the borders, not into Mexico, into Libya, so they could get rid of Gaddafi. Why? Because they want the brotherhood in Gaddafi's country. That's why. And they want it in Syria. And they want it in Jordan. That's next. But that's a whole different kettle of fish. I just don't understand how any court could give this one guy 57 months for having bought a gun. I mean, he didn't go and shoot anybody with the gun. He bought a gun. He was illegal for him to buy a gun. But they were ordered to sell the guns to illegals. So how insane is this? Sounds to me like it's a typical dysfunctional administration that we're dealing with. Well, let's hope we don't have to deal with them much longer. Thanks.